Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Sean with Griffin RC Planes. Today's video is going to be on this FMS Beaver here. The multi control board inside that uh, you connect your receiver to it and then it splits off to the wings and back to the elevator and the rudder and the lights and stuff. And if you want to have separate channels going straight to the aileron, straight to the flap, without using a Y harness in a in a figure of speech because the multi servo board is in fact a, a, a Y harness connector. If you want to run individual channels, for example, an aileron on the right and the left and a flap on the right and left, that would be a total of four dedicated channels. And for that reason you can get your trim, you know, just perfect. You can uh, create you know mixes you know crow and flapperons and 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 whatever else you want to do if you wanted to use four individual channels and do away with the multi board or have four individual channels and use the multi board I'm gonna show you how I, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you inside my plane here plus I've got a uh, oh I got a diagram that you guys can be able to pause on and 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 hook yours up accordingly and so forth so stay tuned here hang on all right this is the multi board that is in or that that came in my beaver here it's also used in several other planes but i can only you know state that i have used what i'm going to show you in my beaver uh, so you need to test things thoroughly if if this board is located in you know a, another fms product or what have you all right so under the hood of my beaver here let me get a little light i'll show you that i have removed my board and i've got servo wires going directly up to the other end of this so the, the the two wires that we just followed in the plane are just like the two in my hand they go to the back side of this and then your wing plugs in this is from this way is is the wing from that way is the plane and I'm gonna show you more hang tight take 18 all right guys so we're not going to be using the, the multi-board, but we need to wire our servo wires just like they have it wired. And it's very important to pay attention to this because a positive and negative is flip-flopped on one of the servo leads. So, with the orientation in mind, on the back side of this green PC board, there are many things written on it. You're looking for FMS and it is written down here on the bottom FMS one of the servo leads closest to the FMS is signal positive negative the one above it is signal negative positive how they have it here looking at the FMS closest to it is signal positive negative the one above it signal negative positive okay now we've got our two servo leads coming from our receiver going into the back side of this quick connector so when you go to put your wing on that is gonna that is gonna mate up so you have your quick connect right so we have to rearrange a couple wires two servo leads one of them you leave factory how they come is signal positive negative so once again here one of them we have signal positive negative the other one we need to flop the the positive and, and the negative and the way you do it is you use a needle or an exacto knife or something and this is also where you buy 
several of these leads on Amazon or some junk ones on eBay so you have something to practice with you know you don't want to mess up the ones that you're planning on using but there's plastic tabs that bite down on the crimped wire connector to hold it in and you gently need to lift up on the tab with something like this knife here and this almost takes three hands like that so I'm gonna grab one of the wires with the this little tab you lift up and then you pull that out there we go now you can get an idea of the tab There you go. Now you got an idea. Like a couple fingers. And I need another one to kind of hold the connector down. And then gently lift this tab up as you're sliding the wire out. And this will take practice. Like so. Okay. And they only go back in, or they have to go back in the same way they came out. So pay attention to that. And then we're going to pull the positive one out the same way. Gently lift that tab up. I'm kind of rolling the blade to hold it up. All right. Then put the negative where the positive came from. And make sure it's locked in there. That tab goes down and the crimped wire connector, you know, it's kind of like this when it locks in. And then put the positive in and then make sure they're locked in. So now we got two leads coming from the receiver. One of them is left how it was, signal positive, negative. The other one is signal negative, positive. Just like our board here, signal positive, negative, signal negative, positive. Just like they have it wired here, we're going to do ours. We're looking for FMS on the bottom. All right, well, real quick, how I said your orientation is FMS. On this one that I've been using to demonstrate, it says FMS on it. I looked at my plane and there's not FMS but you can see that plus sign to the right so you notice that plus to the right and then the bottom right is negative and the top right is red the one I've been demonstrating on bottom right is negative the top one is is positive so maybe they all don't have FMS stamped on it but you know, if you get that wrong, you just, you know, plug the servo leads in the other direction. But So there, here's a couple of good snapshots to show you how I got it with, with what you can look for for orientation, you know. Signal, positive, negative. Signal positive negative go on top signal negative positive signal negative positive so now we have the leads coming from the receiver this doesn't matter flap or aileron because we can differentiate on the other side of the plug where your flap goes and where your aileron goes plus the two plugs for the lights so next step is wiring this part that is inside the wing so that when you mount your wing we got everything ready to go sit tight all right so we got our wires that we're plugging into the back of this plug here 
Once again, the orientation is letter S1 is stamped on the on the PC board. It's right here in the top left. Well, right, here's a good close up on how we're talking about the the uh, S1 and the plus symbol for your orientation. There's the S1. And the plus symbol right there. So you skip one, and then servo, servo, and then the other three you plug your lights into. And then looking at my little chart, you skip a row of pins. The next one is a servo, either your flap or your aileron, either one, you'll figure that out. And then the next row is a is another servo, and then the following three no servos but you have two um plugs for lights that you can plug and and you can plug the lights up into any of the four open ones because remember the top row is signal the middle row is positive the bottom row is negative and and once again here an, another orientation mark is this plus symbol is stamped on this or written on this board also it is right there and then you have the s1 that is right here so it's skip a row servo servo nothing 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 but the power wires for your uh for your lights and i have a servo tester here and we will plug this up just to give a little demonstration of a couple of test servos that I have and you know you you probably have some of these or, or get some you know these things are two three bucks a piece you know on on Amazon or whatever and, and they're good to have but you practice with tester ones and once you figure out your project you know then you put it inside your plane you know you don't want to mess up the, the servos in, in your in your wing you want to figure out everything with some tester ones and my kitty cat in the background. All right, so I've got two servos here. And then I'll also show you that it works in the, in the wing here. And you can see my flap and my aileron working. When I was proof watching what I just recorded, I realized that I cut part of my aileron out of my uh, head camera when I was showing you that it worked. So there they are. And uh, got the one light on front here. And then you got the green one back here flashing. All right, back to the video. Plus the lights you have one light right there and you have this green one there on the other wing it's red now during the making of this video i figured out that you can use four separate channels using the board and if you do use this board you don't rearrange any wires <clears throat> so we've got channel four is this one channel two is this one and that's rudder and elevator so we'll just leave those out for right now channel one and six are the long ones plus we got two short ones on the side here that the manual doesn't talk about and what i found was is these these two here channel one and channel six they lead to this quick connect plug that goes up to the left wing and then these two short ones lead to this quick connect plug that go up to the right wing and where they lead to on the plug that's mounted in the wing on the back side we got the six row servo plugs and for orientation s1 and this plus symbol that channel one and six lead to the first set of pins and the second and then the two short ones over here, the 
the first one that I'm tapping out here, it leads to the third row. And the fourth one leads to the fourth row. And then you can plug in your light and your light. But don't forget this board is a, is a Y, a splitter in a, you know, a Y harness in a, in a sort of speak. So the signals seen on these that go on channel one and channel six, or, or plug set of, you know, one and six, it's also going to be seen on the other one as well. So when you use these short ones and your signal is on the third and the fourth, it's going to be on both of them. But that's the way to get four separate channels. And once, and, and I've only test it with a continuity tester and a, and a servo tester once again i haven't flown with it at all if i get some uh you know some good feedback and some likes and, and subscribes for doing this video i'll do another one hey once again guys i worked really hard give me a subscribe and a like that'd be fantastic and i'll see you on the next one